girls, happy Halloween! I am so excited because I am actually celebrating Halloween for once. When I was younger, I did go trick-or-treating a couple of times, but other than that, nothing had really been celebrated. And Halloween is my favorite time of year because I am really interested in witchy things. I say interested because I am still just kind of dipping my toes in and seeing how things work, how things go, how it's feeling but it is an area that I'm really, really interested in and Halloween is one of my favorite times of year because I feel like everything is heightened. So now that I have been left to my own devices, I can do what I want to celebrate and I thought I would vlog it. So this morning I had a couple of crystals arrive, which was just perfect timing. I got a strawberry quartz and a Caribbean calcite, which are both just beautiful. I don't yet know where I'm going to place these and I do need to do a little bit of more research into them but I absolutely adore them. They look beautiful and I am just really interested in crystals in general so I'm very happy that they arrived. I have also started reading Bunny by Mona Award. Now I'm not too far into this but this is a dark academia book which follows a girl called Samantha who goes to this prestigious university and she despises her classmates because there's this one group of girls who just seem really close but in a weird way but then one day she gets an invitation to join one of their evenings I guess I'm not quite sure what it is she ends up going and I imagine she gets pulled into all of their shenanigans people have said that this book is really really weird and I want to know how so I'm excited to read that I am going to aim to finish it all this weekend but we shall see how that goes for now though I am about to go for an autumnal walk in the woodland because what better vibe to suit Halloween you'll be able to hear me properly right now because it's really windy today and the trees are restless so I know it's probably my imagination but I would have absolutely no problem picturing witches and restless spirits in this woodland tonight <laughs> this is where I watch my own footage back and see something behind me It does feel different in here today. It's really strange. Up there is where the fairies live. <laughs> the big tree trunk that's split open. Um, I can't quite get up there though today because this is one hell of a sludge slide. So I can't visit the fairies today, but I'm sure they know I'm here. <laughs> Right in that tree there. There's a white feather hung upside down that's happened to got caught on a thorny stem. I feel like I'm recreating the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> I do keep being startled by noises. <laughs> It keeps sounding like there are twigs snapping behind me, but there's nothing there. You might remember me saying a couple of vlogs ago. Oh, oh my goodness! Hello! Happy Halloween! <laughs> I, I want to tell a ghost story, stop it! Stop! <laughs> I told... The Okay, well, we'll have a bit of ambient bird shrieking, I guess. Um, you might remember from a few vlogs ago how I said we used to make up ghost stories for this tree. Today is one of those days where it's... Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Am I about to be haunted by the ghosts I made up? Oh god. Maybe I should leave. There is no one else here. One of the stories related to this tree 
was how one of the broken branches right there people would walk through and see a dead body hanging from it apart from when they were startled when they managed to convince themselves to look back after being startled into turning away there would be nothing nothing there at all and as you can see this is one hell of a drop okay I'm going to head home now leave the crows to their shrieking although they seem to have stopped now any spirits or beings who may use this place I hope you have a wonderful evening so I made it home I was actually planning on staying a little longer and telling more stories but I might do a different ghost story session because <laughs> when the birds were shrieking I realized my phone also died even though it had batteries so <laughs> I was just like, I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> so next on the agenda is pumpkin cheesecake. I am going to bake, or at least attempt to bake a pumpkin cheesecake. Now this could go wrong in many different ways. One, I don't bake all that often. I love the idea of baking, but it's only ever been me that actually likes to eat stuff. <laughs> and my parents are not the sort to want to deal with the aftermath of baking, so I just haven't really baked all too often. And if I did, it was always with a friend or something, so I'm not great at baking. <laughs> Two, I have never tried pumpkin before, so I might end up making the cheesecake perfectly fine, but then end up not liking pumpkin. Tis a possibility. Three, I've never used an electronic whisk before, which I have to for this, so... That's going to be fun. I genuinely cannot see how it doesn't go everywhere. So this could just end up being me throwing the ingredients of a cheesecake around my kitchen. But let's find out. <laughs> I don't think my cheesecake was meant to be quite so liquidy because I was meant to do two layers but when I poured in the top layer it just sank. So I now have a marble cheesecake, hopefully, if it comes out like a cheesecake at all. <laughs> I also burned my finger so that's fun but uh, I need to get some normal food and wash up because there's a lot of that. <laughs> Interview with the Vampire, very melodramatic, absolutely ridiculous, 10 out of 10, loved it. <laughs> I especially loved the entire aesthetic of the first half of it when it was all set back in the past and everyone was wearing flares and frills and green velvet, it was great. <laughs> and it was literally the most dramatic story I've seen in a very long time. Everything just escalated really, really quickly. I was watching it with Becca and just like live messaging each other as we were watching and oh I just I had a great time I really liked it I don't tend to like sitting and watching films but I was really in the mood for that one so glad I made use of that while I was in the mood but now 
We are around 11 p.m. and I am going to first tidy my room a bit <laughs> and then sit and read this because I was really getting into this. I'm only like 33 pages in but I'm very intrigued and I feel like I'm going to really like it so obviously I said I did want to finish this this weekend so I really do need to get hurry on with that if I still aim for that but I'm hoping I am going to sit and read quite a big section because I will likely be up for a few more hours yet so let's see how we go. Happy Sunday! It is just after lunchtime and I'm now halfway through reading Bunny. What? What is this book? I now get why everybody says this is weird. I get it. I... <laughs> I don't quite have words for what's going on in here and I'm just like what can possibly happen in the second half? I don't know. I do not know but I will be finding out. I will say though, content warning for animal abuse, animal death. <laughs> um, it's pretty gory when it comes to animals. Animals do not fare well within this book. I would say you can almost desensitize yourself to it because it's almost so dramatic that it doesn't seem real and it's not like, I guess you don't see the pain part of it. I don't know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a weird book. But I am enjoying it and it's really easy to fall into because it's just a descent into madness basically. <laughs> it very quickly escalates but you can very much see how. It's almost as if there is a combined crowd mentality which then leads to very cultish behaviour so <laughs> it's proving to be quite the read. It's going to be interesting seeing what can possibly happen. <laughs> right now though I am about to test my cheesecake I'm concerned because I had to completely just fluke half of it and I'm also slightly concerned about the texture of it but we're gonna try it. I'm nervous but we're going to go and try it and see how it turned out. <laughs> it won't come out. <laughs> oh, oh, ah! <laughs> Why is it so oddly shaped? Um. This has absolutely zero height to it whatsoever. So I'm really not quite sure what has happened here, but hopefully it at least tastes of something. Clearly my biscuit was too wet because it's just glued itself to the bottom. So that's fun. <laughs> Let's do a taste test. It is the consistency of cheesecake and it does taste nice. It does taste nice and it does taste like cheesecake. So it wasn't a total failure. Definitely needs some work though. <laughs> All right, I finished the book and I've rated it 3.5 out of five stars. It was enjoyable in the way that I was just kind of reading out of morbid curiosity I guess because it was so odd and my thing was there was no explanation behind anything so every supernatural thing that was happening just happened and there was no rhyme or reason to it. Now I am perfectly fine getting on board with weird stuff but I do like there to be some basic sense of logic behind it and a little bit explained you know so I do get why so many people love this because it does really like push it boundaries and it says that it's a satire which it definitely does feel like it and it does have some elements of like fairy tale esque vibes to it which was really interesting but yeah I think I just needed a little bit more explanation to be able to get on board with it especially because it is almost 400 pages so I was like it wouldn't have taken too much to just expand a little bit more to be able to include that. There was also just scenes where because they weren't explained they would happen and then only once I finished the book I thought why did that happen? <laughs> what was the point of that? Especially this one really random scene with the tutors which if you have read this book you might know which one I mean. So yeah I wasn't really quite sure what was happening which did lend itself to the book in terms of you never quite know whether to trust Samantha's mindset I guess as you're reading but otherwise I was just like I mean 
it's engaging to read and quite fun to read if you do like weird and dark stories but other than that I was like uh. <laughs> I did enjoy it though so there is that at least and I'm really glad I read it actually. My patrons did actually choose for me to read this one in my October TBR but I did read most of it today so it will go towards my November wrap up but yes they did vote for me to read this one so I am very very glad of that because it was a high priority of mine. So thank you to those for choosing this one for me and yeah that though concludes my Halloween weekend vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had a grand old time celebrating Halloween as much as I possibly could. <laughs> and I also saw a lot of people just generally using it as a break. So if you did that, I hope you had a wonderful rest. But for now, I am going to leave you to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to leave a like and a comment so let me know that you're here. If you're not subscribed already, then please consider doing so. Down in the description box, I'll leave a link to all the books I've mentioned, all of my social media and other bookish stuff as well. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already but for now I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!